Hello my friends and welcome to Open Studio D. Today we're gonna talk about daily painting. What is daily painting and why it's so so important. So let's get started. Here we go! So what is daily painting? Daily painting is very simple. It's just daily painting. So you're painting daily. <laughs> very simple. Uh, but let's let's talk about why it's so important and what is actual daily painting. So I'm going to use two examples that are widely used and I always call it widely abused. So two examples for daily painting in our lives, artist lives, is uh, for example, uh, can you imagine sportsman that is dreaming to get a Olympic medal, Olympic gold medal or any Olympic medal. Can you imagine this uh, sportsman dreaming about getting the medal but not practicing, not whatever, not doing, not running, not doing any exercise, just sitting on his couch eating chips, uh, potato chips and just dreaming. Can he get to a medal? No. All right. Example number two, widely used or abused, is a musician. Can you imagine a violinist uh, that is dreaming to uh, get on the stage of his first concert and uh, assembling, let's say, 5,000 people in the concert hall just to listen his or her, um, you know, her playing? Of course not, right? Because you have to start from probably six, seven years old, going to school, going to college, practicing, 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 and maybe, if not guaranteed, but maybe you will get on the stage and you can assemble, uh, you know, people that that will will come just to listen to you, as as a musician. Same, absolutely same thing for us in our life as in, as artists, painters. We have to practice, 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 and practice. One of the Russian painter, Russian uh, famous painter. Uh, said this in order to get to somewhere to success you know he was talking about success as recognition from the world renowned uh, collectors and you as an artist are recognized by those collectors so they hunting for your work they want to purchase uh, your work so to get to that point you have to walk miles miles and miles on your canvases so literally he meant this if you pull all your work all your canvases and you put on the ground and you can walk miles and miles and not just one mile miles you can get to the point when you can say I'm a successful artist and actually success in my opinion success is dictated not what you say about yourself but what actually people saying about you that's why daily painting is so so important you have to paint daily and today I'm gonna talk about not just daily painting that uh, that uh, you know is on a schedule like you schedule today to go to your studio and paint you know five six I don't know how, how many hours you normally paint but um, I would like to touch a subject when you when you have to push yourself daily push for daily painting I will explain what that means you come home after work we normally you know uh, work somewhere else we have you know we have active income and we have a passive income and we normally come from our active income and there's nothing we can do um, we, you know and sometimes I come after work and I'm exhausted I just don't want to get my brush I don't want I know I win it if I get my brush I will mix some colors I have to you know go to my utility room and wash those brushes and take care of it like I'm exhausted I'm better just you know put my body on the couch and watch you know something on YouTube wrong because time is actually clicking and time is clicking against you as an artist if you are serious about becoming a good artist I'm not saying professional artist just good artist you have to dedicate some time and put some sweat to get to that point and we'll talk about this later what is you know the the goals and stages of how to become an artist and how to be successful artist to you know start selling your art uh, on the market this will be a different subject a uh, different video so today's we're talking about daily daily push for daily painting you come home you're exhausted you don't want to paint but you have to push yourself to paint and this is what I would recommend at least paint for 30 minutes so you may ask me what you can do in 30 minutes a lot of stuff you can do in 30 minutes so option number one option number one you can do uh, color charts something like this just simple color charts I have for example I have blue green red 30 minutes is more than enough to do this 
to do uh, one color chart for just one color. So just take blue, get something uh, uh, color that you want to mix and see the results. And normally you pull in white. So you have three colors, the main colors, the uh, one color that we're going to moderate your color and then white to push the value and just do the charts. So you will know, you will learn the behavior or bias of your paint that you have in your studio or maybe you're thinking about putting on your palette as additional color and do just study. I'm not saying to do it every time you don't want to paint and you have to DP for DP, push daily push for daily painting, uh, but periodically just if you don't want to you know, analyze any paintings, uh, you want to do just 30 minutes mixing colors, that's a great option. So this is option number one. Option number two that you can do for 30 minutes. Very simple and actually very practical. Underpainting. So I normally teach to, to work on three or four, minimum of three paintings uh, at the same time. So meaning you have three paintings that you rotate. You do underpainting, you push drying rack, you take another one, push this to uh, analyzing rack, and then you rotate all three, four paintings. That's what I do. And normally underpainting should take no more than 30 minutes. Actually, sometimes nine, nine by 12 should be no more than 20 minutes. So, but you, have, you got 30 minutes. So you can do, definitely you can do two or at least one underpainting that you will be you will be able to use and work on it later okay so underpainting is option number two just pull the image from your library image that is on a waiting list for you know for you to work on a painting and just do 30 minutes underpainting first coat on underpainting very doable so this will be option number two and finally option number three which I, I like very much I have a library I would look at my library for a waiting list for the paintings the images in my library and I call it waiting list watch the video working on your images I will pull one image and I will do just study quick 30 minutes study 10 minutes of underpainting uh, 10 minutes of a first coat underpainting then 10 minutes of second coat palette knife underpainting and then another 10 minutes of um, you know applying first coat of painting and this will be just study I can after 30 minutes I can you know, shave or scrape I call it shaving uh, scrape the canvas and put it again uh, to reuse or maybe I would just you know if everything is looking great I don't have to change anything I will just put it on dry and rack and I will use it for my painting when I will start working on the same painting but at least I will have already one study and I normally recommend doing not only one study maybe one two maybe three studies before you jump on a bigger format 18 like 18 by 24 or 24 by 36 just a bigger format so those three options first color chart second underpainting and third uh, third option is study work and another thing i would recommend strongly recommend uh, i think i stole this from my uh, wife's kitchen this is actually a cooking uh, timer so when you when you set it to 30 minutes it's actually clicking and after 30 minutes it will just give you a buzz something like this and to be honest i will tell you when you paint for 30 minutes and it's not finished it's gonna push your paint a little bit more and this is exactly what we want we want at least 30 minutes holding a brush to me make sure your muscle memory your mind your vision is you know on daily schedule so you're moving somewhere and it will help you a lot a lot and a lot uh, let's stop right here let's jump on the canvas and I will show you how I do those 30 minutes studies uh, and today I'm probably gonna do a study not underpainting so let's let's start our study 30 minutes study daily push for daily painting uh, I just pulled one image from um, my library my image library and I call that library uh, waiting list so uh, those uh, images uh, the images on, in this library are ready for for me to work at, on paintings so I just pulled the first one and uh, this image is actually was sent to me uh, by my dear friend Catherine Stats. I have to give her credit for taking this image. It's uh, like a wintry uh, scene somewhere, and I think it's in Utah. Um, so I'm gonna paint not what I experienced, um, you know, myself, but just looking at the image and trying to understand the atmosphere and 
you know, what I'm gonna say through that painting. Uh, but it's very calm, very peaceful image. So I think it's, we'll see. We'll see what we can pull from this image. Main point of this 30 minutes uh, daily push for daily painting is it's a study. It's not a painting. You're not working on the painting. We're gonna do uh, 10 minutes uh, underpainting, 10 minutes finishing underpainting, and then 10 minutes of brushwork. Um, finalizing kind of but this is a study work you so basically what is a study work is you studying colors you studying shapes and you studying the values that's it so if shapes values and colors that's it nothing else so if there is some mistakes don't don't judge you 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 studying the image you studying the colors the values and the shapes all right so let's jump let's start our 30 30 minutes timer and uh, uh, see what we can come with
so I would stop right here uh, it took actually a little bit more it's about 38 minutes but this is a good study so when I start painting real pa image I mean real painting I already know where to what to look for what to avoid what colors to mix and basically this is my good study that I can refer to this valley needs to go up a little bit and here's our clock ringing saying enough is enough so we're gonna stop right here so this is a daily painting to be honest today let me stop it today was a good example because I came after work it was crazy snowing outside I wasn't thinking actually painting but I knew I had to finish this video so it was actually life exercise so I hope you enjoy this video enjoy this demo please paint daily daily push for daily painting dp for dp if you're serious about becoming a better better artist more oil painter or watercolor painter it really doesn't matter what medium you are painting in or using just daily painting just set yourself for daily painting and especially for days like when you're tired so uh, daily push for daily paintings so i hope you enjoyed this video if you're new to this channel, please subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like and stay tuned for more videos about art and painting. And if you already subscribed, thank you very much and I uh, really appreciate you supporting my channel and uh, watching my videos. So please stay tuned, more videos are coming. See you next time. Here we go.